All right, guys, we've been covering the five different systems of the vault. Pull, carry, run, plant, take off, and we've even done a video about off the ground. We did our rollover progression, okay? And we also, at the end of that video, did one takeoff drill. We're gonna start with the takeoff, and we're gonna show you how we start to incorporate the swing into these simple drills and teaching kids how to move the pole and swing at the same time. So we're gonna have Lily start at a one, so she's gonna focus on that long short. She's gonna pick up the pole and hold it in that really, really good plant position, where her hands are here. Because the elbows are down, the shoulders are intact, her hands can go up at takeoff. A mistake that I see a lot of people make is they have the elbows of the vault are flared out, which then pops the shoulders out. This causes a little bit of backwards movement, right, which is gonna hurt the shoulders or back. So you always wanna have the elbows a little bit more in, make sure the shoulders are here, not flared out, okay? Um, she's gonna step back, do a takeoff drill. Awesome, and you saw the hands go up and nice, nice pull speed. Now at this point, I know I can start to incorporate the swing. What she's gonna do is swing to a sit drill. So now she's gonna land on her butt, left leg straight, drive knee tight, right? She's gonna focus on pulling herself forward and getting her hips past her left hand. So we're gonna do a swing to a sit drill now. Awesome. So you can see that she jumps, pulls herself forward and as deep as possible into the pit. Lily, let's do that one more time and let's freeze when you land on the pit. Again, watch the pull speed, watch her hips. She's using her bottom arm only to pull and accelerate herself forward. Good, let's freeze there. Now, notice, right, her left hand is past her hips, okay? Her left leg straight, right knee still bent, and she's still nice and tall. She's not leaning back. A lot, of, a lot of coaches talk about athletes, you know, maybe blocking out too much and leaning back through the swing. There's no lean back here. Now, at this point, all she would have to do is keep pulling, turn, and land on her belly. So we're going to do the next drill called swing to the belly, okay? Some people call them flyways. how the whole jump is connected. She's pulling with her bottom arm and then able to get full extension at the end of the drill. Let's watch it one more time and let's freeze at the end. Big jump up, long short. Awesome, freeze. Okay, this is huge, right? The beginning of this white line is roughly 11 feet 2 inches behind the back of the box. We call this Gabby's line, right? So this is just a horizontal pole vault, all right? If I give her enough grip and I slow down the pole speed, she can do a full jump. But we talk about this line all the time, okay? We say, and we call it Gabby's line because a girl named Gabby who's 4 foot 11 could get her toes to touch this line when she was in high school. She jumped 10, right? Well, you can see Lily here has about shins here. She jumps 11-7. We found that girls that get her, uh, girls or guys, they get their knees to that line, jump 12, hips are 13, chest is 15, and if you get your whole body past that, you're a 17 plus guy or girl. All right? Uh, anybody with any big questions, make sure to hit us up. It's apexvaulting at gmail.com, uh, apexvaulting.com, and on Instagram, we're the real apexvaulting. Thanks for watching.